Hello everybody, George Palio. Today I wanna to talk about 10 things that entrepreneurs need to build their business. Number one, identity pulls people. What do you mean? Well, if you're watching a video by somebody and they're extremely successful, you're gonna be inspired. If you're reading a book, if you're listening to a podcast, if you're around successful people, if you're at a conference and they're successful people, the fact that you can see that people are winning, the fact that you're learning, the fact that you're growing as a person, the fact that your mind is opening up, the fact that you're learning new things, what that's gonna do is that's gonna pull you up. This is why personal development is such a big deal when you start your business or you start a journey. Uh, you, need to, you need to grow as a person because maybe the current version of you is not good enough to get to the next level, but when you start developing yourself, now you start believing, hey, you know what? I'm doing the right things to get to that next level and it's gonna happen for me, it's only a matter of time. Point number two, responsibility produces accountability. Responsibility produces accountability. When I got started in the insurance industry, I had to rent a desk, and I didn't wanna pay the $500 every month, but I did. I asked this gentleman who was making a six-figure income at the time, I said, hey, what can I do to be successful here? He said, get a desk. I said, no, 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 I'm kinda of looking for some you know, direction. He says, do you wanna argue with me or did you, want, did you want direction? Did you want my advice? I said, no, I want your advice. He says, get a desk. At that time, I was like, do, do these people just need me to help pay rent? I don't understand. Is he just pissed off? I don't, I don't get it. But I was coachable enough to say, if that's what he said and he's winning, let me trust it. I don't understand it, but let me go do it. So I go rent a desk. I'm paying 500 bucks. Now I have a bill. And I said, okay, uh, I got to pay this 500 bucks. And that means I got to make money. That responsibility got me into the office more often. Uh, that responsibility uh, forced me to improve in the products, forced me to improve in my presentation. That responsibility uh, welcomed, it welcomed me to the office because I said, man, I'm going to my office. So that responsibility produced accountability, which produced success. Point number three, urgency shortens the process. Einstein says speed slows down time. So if you look at your life and you say, hey, here's what I want, this is my ultimate life, and it's gonna go take 40 years. You're not inspired to do that. You're not inspired to move fast. But if you said, hey, how do I take this 40 years and do it in the next four to five years to get to where I wanna be? Now all of a sudden you're gonna move fast, you're gonna do more. And so urgency shortens the process. Number four, belief ignites action. When you believe that you're gonna get a result, you take action. If you don't believe you're gonna get a result, you don't take action. If you believe you're gonna get a result, you're gonna move faster. If you don't, you're gonna go slower. If you knew that everybody that you called today and you offered whatever you do, whatever business you're in, we're in insurance, if you know everybody that's gonna say yes to you, you're gonna call everybody today. If I tell you the next 100 people are gonna say yes to you, you're immediately gonna go call 100 people because you believe you're gonna get a result. You're not gonna procrastinate, you're not gonna waste time, you're not gonna uh, uh, beat around the bush, you're gonna take massive action because you know there's a result. But when you experience failure, you start to slow down and you start to ne uh, negotiate with that and say, man, well, it's just the numbers, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get a result today, uh, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Instead of doing 100, I'll just do 10. And you start kind of spacing out the work and you lose a little bit of that urgency. Uh, you lose a little bit of the, let me, let me do it right now uh, 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 mentality. I'm doing this hotel meeting and I'm coaching these new entrepreneurs and I said, the person that brings me, stay seated, the person that brings me three numbers, I'm giving $100 to right now. When I say go, the first person that comes back with three numbers is getting $100. Go. 50 people blitz out of this room, okay? These are people that don't know how to prospect, don't know how to have conversations with people, but it became a game and they knew that there was a guaranteed outcome. And within two to three minutes, this person that's never learned how to prospect, how to talk to people, I got three numbers, I got three numbers, I asked three people if they wanna make more money, if they keep their options open. Why? Because they knew that there was an immediate result. And that was an exercise we did. And I said, hey guys, what'd you learn from this? And they said, man, that I think too much. And I said, sometimes because you don't know, you, you, you don't get a result that moment. You don't get a payoff that moment. What you do is you take less action, you go slower. So belief ignites action. Also, if your skill sets are high, you know you're gonna do it. If your skill sets are low, you procrastinate. So it's your job to do the things to build your belief so that you can get to the next level. Point number five, relationships are the glue. If you're gonna build a big business, you're gonna need people. And you're gonna go through tough times with people. And those tough times give you an opportunity to show how much you care about that person, how much you believe in that person. Uh, when you go through challenges and you're willing to forgive, you're willing to give grace, you're willing to sit there and have those tough conversations of where the ball was dropped, your mistakes, their mistake, and you can heal that relationship, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And eventually people say, man, I've been through so many things with this person that I know who they are. I know I could trust them. I know they care about me. I know they want the best for me. Let's solve this. And, and you stop having this 
quitters mentality. You stop having people, you know, leave you all the time because that's what people are used to. People are used to the moment there's a problem, they run away, they quit, they give up, they break up. It's a problem with relationships. It's a problem with business. So you got to learn to stick it out. You got to learn to stick out the problem because that's where the relationships developed. Point number six, personal development helps with endurance. If you're constantly adding gasoline, you can keep going. So it's super important that you keep growing as a person so that you can go the distance uh, because you're going to need encouragement. You're going to need enthusiasm. You're going to need intensity. You're going to need energy. Uh, it's what it requires. So make sure that you're feeding yourself along the way. Point number seven, vision unites and aligns people. When there's a clear vision and people know where they're going, it brings everybody together and it gets them to buy into what you're trying to accomplish. Point number eight, encouragement is the fuel to keep trying. It's easy when things are going wrong to lose that enthusiasm, that encouragement. That's when you need it the most. Uh, it's, it's what gives us hope. Uh, there's this great quote that says, you can live, uh, a person can live 40 days without food, three days without water, uh, four to five minutes without air, but not one second without hope. So make sure that you're constantly encouraging the people that you're around and inspiring people to keep going. Point number nine, imagination allows you to dream. Uh, sometimes you got to sit there and you got to ask yourself, what are my goals? What do I want? If, I, if money wasn't an option, uh, wasn't an issue, what would I do? What do I really want? If I didn't have any restrictions on what I thought I could accomplish, if I didn't put any restrictions, if I didn't put any price tag to these goals and to these dreams, if I could accomplish anything, what would that be? And then you got to go there. See, when you're a kid, you use your imagination a lot. And sometimes as we become an adult, we use our imagination less. One time I'm having a conversation with my mentor and I said, hey, uh, why, do you, why do you dream so big? Why do you think we could do this? How do you think so big? He says, I sit there and I play a game with myself and I say, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if we could do this? What if we could do this? What if we could do this? What if this person, what if this person comes? What if we accomplish this? What if we, what if we get this big? What if we make this much money? What if we win? What does that look like? What if we, what if we could do that? And, and I just go. And I let that go and I just write and write and write and dream. And you, what you realize is that most people, they put restriction on their dreams and their imagination so that there is no vision. So it's very important. Play that game with yourself. What if, and if you can accomplish anything in this world with no restrictions, what would you want to accomplish? And lastly, point number 10, guys, fun is needed along the way. You got to have a great time. Uh, the more, the, the, the more uh, you want to build something big and the more serious it is, the more fun you have to have along the way. Uh, I'll leave you with this last quote. The funniest thing in this world is a man or a woman who can't laugh at themselves and takes life too serious. So hope you enjoyed this and some of these points can help you go build your business.